Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cat Shorts as we take a look at big ideas of the Christian faith in small packages, walking through the words of Martin Luther's small catechism in short videos, which is why we call it Cat Shorts. So uh, today our conversation turns to one of my favorite parts of Martin Luther's small catechism, what we sometimes call the third article of the creed. And we're going to talk about cats and monkeys. Get ready for it. So the third article of the creed, wait a second, get your Martin Luther cap on and your 16th century reformer hat that you can find, now we're ready. The third article of the creed is the part where we talk about what does it mean to believe in the Holy Spirit. And our older brother in the faith says something like this. I believe that by my own ability or reason or power, I can't come to Jesus Christ on my own, but instead the Holy Spirit has called me, drawn me through the gospel, and made me holy along with all the other people God draws and pulls and grabs a hold of through the power of the Holy Spirit. That idea is a really, really important one. That on our own, I can't even believe in Jesus on my own, but Jesus has to take the first step. The Holy Spirit takes the first step of grabbing a hold of me in faith and love and drawing me into God's embrace. It's sort of like saying, God gives us a free gift in uh, the grace of Jesus Christ, and on top of that, most of us are too dense to even open a free gift when it's handed to us. And so God's the one who teaches us, who pulls us, who leads us to open the gift and to receive it because we wouldn't do it on our own in the first place. This is where monkeys and cats turn out to be important. So um, a wise Bible scholar once noted that there are two different ways that mama monkeys and mama cats handle things when there's danger in the jungle, if you can imagine things with me. Mama monkey, for example, if there's danger in the rainforest or something, will uh, turn to her baby, will turn around and offer her back to the baby monkey with the assumption that baby monkey is smart enough to climb on to mama monkey's back, hold on as tight as baby monkey can, and then mama monkey will carry baby monkey away from the danger, the fire or the predators or whatever it is. Mama cat, on the other hand, does something different. When her kittens are born and there is danger in the jungle or the forest or wherever, mama cat picks up her kittens by the nape of their neck and carries them away to safety. Even if they don't understand what's going on because kittens are born blind, and even if they don't like being picked up by the scruff of the neck as they're clawing and hissing and scratching back at their mother who d because they don't understand what's happening. The difference is important. If you're a monkey, getting saved from danger depends on, number one, you recognizing what's being offered to you. Number two, you having the wisdom to jump onto mama's back before it's too late. And number three, holding on tight because if your grip loosens, you fall off and off mama monkey goes. On the other hand, if you're a cat, everything hangs on the grip of mama cat on the baby. Even if the baby cat doesn't understand it's being rescued, doesn't see the danger, doesn't understand what's happening, and even if mama cat has to deal with some hissing and clawing from baby kittens that don't like being grabbed a hold of and being carried away to safety, mama cat is willing to bear all that because she cares for her kittens. This is the move that our older brother in the faith, Martin Luther, makes when he talks about what it means to believe in the Holy Spirit. He is unapologetically a cat-hold type of Christian, which is to say, when it comes to us and God, we're baby kittens getting rescued by mama cat rather than baby monkeys who are smart enough and strong enough to hold on on our own. And knowing that difference makes a huge world of difference in what the good news is really about. If the Christian faith is a sales pitch, if it really is, here's God selling something and the price is great, but you got to be smart enough to spot a deal and you got to be brave enough and your faith has to be strong enough to hold on, then it really turns out that I'm the one saving myself. I'm accepting a good deal. I'm taking the first step. I'm accepting what God's offering because I'm so smart. And in the end, I get to thank myself for being so smart to take God's awesome offer. Luther says, no, that gives us too much credit. Luther says, you know what the thing is with us human beings is we are scared and we can't see and we don't even recognize a good thing that's being done for us for free. We wouldn't even open a free gift if it were laid in our lap. We who have been taught there's no such thing as a free lunch, there's always a catch, there's always a string. 
And so God's way of saving us is not just to have sent Jesus to die for us and rise for us, but then God, through the Holy Spirit, draws each one of us, you and me, and grabs hold of us like a mama cat, grabbing us by the nape of our neck, bringing us into faith and making it possible for us to believe because on our own, we wouldn't be able even to trust God. I heard a story years ago from a social worker who had to... um, rescue a child from a household where the adults in that family, if you can call it a family, were completely neglecting this child. There was was abuse, there was neglect. This this child had not been loved, had not been cared for. And the social worker, the way he said it was, this kid didn't know how to be held. After having not been loved for long enough in his life, he didn't know how to be held. And so they risked the awkwardness of sort of clumsily wrapping their arms around this kid who's stiff as a board until their embrace, until being around people who love them made it possible then, then to accept love and to be embraced. Luther's brilliant insight, which he really has just gotten from the scriptures. We can have a conversation about where he gets this idea from in the Bible. But the brilliant insight from the small catechism is that all of us on our own don't know how to be held. And God's love doesn't sit around waiting, going, well, when you figure it out, I will come and offer you my free love. When you realize I've given you a great deal, come and get it. But that God sees that we can't find our way out of a paper bag and reaches down and grabs hold of us in love like a mama cat, rescuing our kittens by the nape of the neck. So that in the end, my being saved doesn't depend on how strong my grip is on God but on how strong God's grip is on me. And that, that difference means everything. So next time, when you think about what it means to believe in Jesus, or if somebody asks if you got saved and when it happened, you can say, well, 2,000 years ago, Jesus died for me. That's when I got saved. And God's love grabbed a hold of me like a mama cat grabbing hold of her kittens. And my life has never been the same. Join us next time here on Cat Shorts.